If you are a fan of Rose Red, Stephen King's miniseries from 2002, we're about to go behind the scenes and see the castle that inspired the movie. Castle is located in the state of Washington. Many of you may recognize the prominent exterior from the movie Rose Red. Houses are alive. But how much of what we saw on screen is reality? As a huge fan of the movie, I was very curious myself if Thornwood Castle would live up to my big expectations of what I saw in the movie. And I'm gonna go ahead and break that down for you here. In the movie, Rose Red is the antagonist. It's a haunted mansion set in Seattle. Brawling, I mean huge. It's filled with secret passageways, endless staircases. But the actual Thornwood Castle, which Rose Red is modeled after, is quite a bit more modest. The movie built a gate in one of the busy intersections of Seattle and filmed it to make it seem like this massive mansion was on top of a hill overlooking the ocean. Thornwood is near Tacoma, which is about 30, 35 minutes south of Seattle. And while the movie was filmed on site, many of the interior scenes were shot using a soundstage. And measures. So what is real and what isn't? When I walked into Thornwood, I thought for sure I was going to see this grandiose staircase, this long hallway like you remember from the movie, most famously known for, spoiler alert, plug yours if you don't wanna hear this, when Emery got his fingers chopped off. That is not at all the case. The doors of the building though are similar. So when Pam touches the doors and she's sensing Zucchina talking to Bollinger, the reporter, that is very similar, if not the exact exterior doors of the castle. However, once you get inside, a totally different story. In Thornwood, you'll step inside and walk into what was one of the downstairs rooms that they filmed a lot of the scenes in overnight when they were all too scared to go upstairs to their bedroom. So that space is true to the castle. Her finances had gone bad and she had to cut up these large rooms, on, particularly on the main floor of Thornwood, and rent them out as apartments. And the main ballroom and the main uh, entry room, huge rooms, were cut up into three and four apartments with quarter inch plywood between the rooms. And it was just, and lowered ceilings. Fortunately, whoever did it uh, didn't touch the original construction but it was just a, a, an abomination to walk in there and see what a horrible thing had been done to this magnificent estate. So with the owner's permission, we uh, came in and tore out this apartment additions in Thornwood and brought the original rooms back to their glory with sculptured ceilings, beautifully paneled walls. We refinished all of that for them, put in new floors, and uh, you, you have seen on the film exactly what it looks like today. It's a glorious, glorious spot that the family now runs as a bed and breakfast. The grand spiral staircase and the chandeliers, well those are all work of a set maker. The actual castle does have a beautiful staircase made out of wood, but it is not that double staircase leading up to the second floor. Now what is true is a bit of the story about Thornwood Castle. Thornwood Castle was built in the early 20th century by a man named John Thorne, catching some similarities in names. He was an incredibly wealthy businessman, just like they depict in the story between Ellen and John. They did import most of the materials for the mansion from Europe. A lot of the stained glass, the brick, all transported over to Washington via boat. John never actually ended up living in this castle that he built. Instead, it was used for a lot of other purposes like conducting business, it was even a boarding area for a while, and as well as a hotel, and of course now it is a hotel in a beautiful event space. There are so many rumors, legends, stories that Thornwood Castle is haunted. The main ghost story in Rose Red was modeled after the Winchester Mansion in San Jose, California, 
The story is Sarah Winchester, who was the wife of the main producer of the Winchester rifle, was told that spirits were going to haunt her, all of the spirits that were killed with their rifle, and so she continued to build this really elaborate home with dead ends, doors to nowhere, just all of these sort of odd things with the goal of confusing the ghost. That's where a lot of that backstory comes from. It's not actually from the ghost of Thornwood Castle. While Thornwood Castle is legend to be haunted, there aren't that many ghost stories tied to the property. And I'm curious if any of you have had your own ghostly experience, please let me know. We stayed overnight. We were the only ones in the castle. We didn't really experience anything creepy. Other than that, it is a beautiful historic home that maybe just has an eerie charm to it because of its age and because you're in such a large space with no one else around. Some of the statues around Thornwood Castle are similar, but not identical to what you'd see in the movie. There are beautiful long ponds with lily pads and statues surrounding it. We weren't able to explore all of Thornwood Castle. When you stay overnight, it's really cool actually. They give you a key, you have to meet them at a certain time, and it's for the gate to get into the building as well as the key to the front door and again the beautiful wooden front doors that's what you're getting the key to as well as your room and then they leave you so when we stayed there there was i think maybe one other person in the building we never saw them though and really you get full reins of the space except for the closed off areas so they do lock quite a few areas. If you've ever been to some of those other areas of Thornwood, please let me know down in the comments. What about the kitchen? It was a set along with the greenhouse that is a main feature throughout Rose Red, where we start to see the house coming alive through the depiction of these different plants. The other common question is the tower foley, where Zucchina and Ellen push John, the husband, out of the window and he falls to his death for cheating on Ellen with many people, including Zucchina. That was a piece of set that they actually added onto the exterior of Thornwood in order to film the movie. While the movie Rose Red has most certainly taken some liberties in depicting Thornwood Castle, the castle itself is still undeniably gorgeous and an amazing piece of history that I highly recommend you take an opportunity to visit. You will fangirl if you have any connection to the movie Rose Red as you drive up through the gates and you see the house that I had grown to love through the miniseries and I'm sure you did as well. You can check out our overnight stay in Thornwood Castle by clicking the link above if you want to see more of the experience we had and all the beauty that Thornwood has to offer. But we mean the house has gone insane.